As I think about the Christmas season, my heart and mind are flooded with a generous God. And I'm reminded of the verse that says, for God so loved the world that he gave. The Father gave his Son that we might have a relationship with him. Jesus humbled himself and left his place by the Father. And we see that in the manger and, and the Bible says that he made himself nothing by taking on the very nature as a servant. And he died on a cross so that we might have life, eternal life. And the Holy Spirit has come to give us gifts so that we can live on mission and live out in our unique calling and purpose here on earth. And so we are taking this, this season and celebrating the birth of Jesus, the greatest gift by the most generous giver, God. How do we respond? Well, the Magi, when they saw the star, when they heard the good news, they packed up their bags and they began to travel afar in this long, long journey to see the Savior of the world. And when they got there, they gave gifts. It seems like it's only fitting for us today as we consider all that God has done for us and the gifts that we have received from Him and give back to God some of what He's given to us. So I invite you to participate with me in the uh, Christmas offering that begins in, Jan in December and goes through January 12th. And we are praying to exceed a $50,000 goal with two focuses. The first one is to finish the REACH campaign that we have been working on for the last two years and we're hoping to complete by Christmas of next year. This is a project that includes uh, some upgraded kids ministry space so we can minister to kids and their families in a, in a new and in a, in a complete way that God can use and an enlarged lobby for uh, us as we gather and build relationships in our hallways and an elevator to give access to both floors. And uh, that will be done at the Sutherland campus. Then the second one is a 20% uh, of that money will go towards Safe Haven Maternity Home. That is a resource in our community that provides food and shelter and safety uh, and other supportive uh, tools for pregnant women and new moms and their children. And uh, they have some needs some in their uh, in, in maintenance needs that we can come around and provide that they're in badly need of help. And so we're excited to be a part of that with them. So how can you give? So you can go to your campus and pull out a, uh, an offering envelope and be sure and mark Christmas offering on it. Put your check or, or, or cash in there and put it in the offering box. Or you can go on our website at familychurchweb.com and go to give. Or the best way to give uh, is the Family Church app. And there you can, at the bottom, you can go to give and be sure and mark the uh, the. Christmas offering, and then give uh, as God moves in your heart. And I hope you have uh, a time to reflect at this wonderful, generous God and worship Him, and I pray that you have a blessed and Merry Christmas.